Hey YouTube, Appalachian Survivalist. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, camouflage. Um, a lot of people ask me, uh, hey, uh, where do you get the best multicam? Where do you get the best OCP? Where do you get this and that? Should I get some cry gear? Should I get whatever? Uh, me personally, I get whatever's cheap. Um, I think you guys have seen my carrier. It's a multicam uh, plate carrier. I got this back in 2012. Uh, the Afghanistan war was going on. This is full-blown multicam. It's not OCP. It's not the current uh, Army pattern, which I'm pretty positive. Look at it. Not sure. Army may have ripped off multicam. Take a look. But anyway, when I was in the Army, uh, I had a wonderful pattern that was super awesome, and it totally made me blend into every pile of gravel that I ever wanted to blend into, and then that old grandma couch that everybody saw the meme of. So I had the old ACU. Um, Something to think about though, uh, ACU right now on the surplus market is cheaper than woodland camo. And woodland camo is some cheap stuff. Like you could get a woodland camo jacket for like 12 bucks at a surplus store. You can get an ACU jacket for like eight bucks at a surplus store. And you're thinking, well, why would I want crappy ACU? This stuff sucks. And it does. I hate ACU. Uh, it's, uh, I don't even remember what they called it. Um, we just call it an ACU. But uh, there's a, apparently another name for the actual camouflage pattern. Um, don't care. It sucks. Hate it. However, if you can get a hold of some old ACU, you can definitely have you some decent camouflage. And I'm going to show you that here. So what I've done is... Toss me that red dye. I have used a wonderful thing called red dye. I wish I was promoted by RIT. I wish they would pay me to tell, tell you how awesome they are, but they don't. And you can get this at your big box stores, Walmart, Kmart, Amazon, whatever. Uh, the only bottle I had left here was uh, black, but the three main colors you're gonna want for the, the colors I'm gonna show you is black, dark green, and I think it's, it. yeah, it's dark green, and um, apple green. And apple green, when you first pour it in and go through the process, you're gonna be like, that's crazy, I'm not doing that. However, I'm gonna show you, ACU dipped in apple green is this right here. So the coloring should be pretty decent. Um, I'm doing this one in HD, make sure I get good coloring. But you can tell a night and day difference from ACU to uh, apple green. And what the apple green does is this makes it perfect for summertime, springtime, uh, in the woods. This matches those greens perfectly. Um, uh, if you look up some other um, YouTubers, uh, Brent776, I think is his name, he uh, does a whole video on how uh, this apple green um, totally makes it worth worth using and makes, worth, makes it worth uh, doing. He actually compares it to regular ACU. Um, but again, th this is great. And all I had to do was I bought an $8 bottle of this and I dipped three or four sets of ACUs in this. Because when I came out of the military, I had like nine sets of ACUs. Heck, I gave some away. Um, so I've got a whole set of stuff like that. Now another thing I did is I took some of my old gear and you'll notice it's a little bit of a different color just because of the uh, type of fabric it is. Obviously this is waterproof type, so you have to add a little bit of vinegar in with your mixture. Make sure you get a little hotter when you boil the uh, um, dye with your water and the biggest thing I can tell you is I'm not going to go through all the steps or anything read on the read the instructions on how to dye things and it'll tell you exactly what to do but uh, turned out great I mean this was this color uh, as you can see behind me here I've got regular old ACU you can tell a big difference between those two um, so again this is very beneficial for when you can get a hold of some surplus stuff you go to govdeals.com you go to eBay whatever and you see a bunch of ACU stuff for super cheap. I've seen uh, Molly pouches for dirt cheap on uh, Amazon because they're ACU. Nobody wants the ACU anymore because ACU's out, OCP's in. But uh, you know what? You don't have to have that you know uh, high-end, super fancy gear. If you can't afford it, make do with what you got and make it work. Um, I've always been about making it work. If you look at some of my older channels or older uh, channels and older episodes. It's all about using what you have to make it work. Um, 
Another thing I did was green and a little bit of black. Uh, kind of made a darker grayish style. Um, I've noticed this works really well at night and also works good in urban environments. And it almost looks like the old school urban camo. Um, actually works really well in the fall when you start to get uh, a lot of darker colors and darker areas, but there's still some leaves on the trees. Um, so I only did a couple sets like this to kind of give it that different look. But my main goal is just to show you that, you know, maybe you're a vet and you've got some old ACUs hanging around. You know what I mean? For nostalgia, I like to keep one, one, one good old uniform set ready in case I would ever, I don't know, just want to look at it, show my kids, whatever. But all these other ones that were all tore up and I was going to throw them away or sell them to a surplus store anyway, why do that when uh, I could dye them and still use them? This will be great for turkey season. Uh, turkey hunting, this, this camo actually works really well. And I don't know if you can see it in comparison to the Marine Digital. It's actually not too terribly off. I mean, obviously there's uh, more browns and blacks in here, but still it kind of gives that, you can see that, that difference in these patterns. So anyway, just a quick video there. Uh, RIT dye, uh, liquid dye seems to work pretty well for me. Uh, you look at some different channels and things like that. Uh, look it up on Google. Um, there's all kinds of people that have tried this different thing. Uh, I saw the idea, I liked it, it's not my idea, um, but why not share good ideas for other people to be able to use, especially when they may need it for an emergency situation, uh, whether it's you know defending your home, defending your family, or just needing it for hunting. Um, again, uh, check it out. If you uh, have any questions about this, you wanna see any pictures and uh, get some more information about it, comment below. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and as always, God bless.